Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over our learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to log into Desmos and complete assignments in Desmos. We are also learning how to view the notes for the class in presentation mode using Google Slides. How are we learning it? Through the introduction to Desmos assignment, the introduction to Google Slides notes, and the Google Slides quiz assignment. When can we use the information in this lesson? To complete future Desmos assignments for this class, and to view notes and use the animations in the presentations to better understand the content of the lessons. How do we know we learned it? By getting a score of four on the introduction to Desmos assignment and a four on the Google Slides quiz assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We'll begin by going over our learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your Get It Started. Once you've completed your Get It Started, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. Then we'll get into the introduction to Desmos assignment. Towards the end of class, we'll go over our introduction to Google Slides notes. And then at the very end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to complete the Google Slides quiz assignment and any missing assignments that you may have. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're gonna do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment and it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this and right here where it says sign in with Google we're going to click there and it's going to pop up with our email accounts you're going to click on your school email account and it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom from there I'm just going to click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin so that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's talk now about how to complete the introduction to Desmos assignment. So if we go to the Desmos assignment, first we have our learning goals and success criteria here. And if we scroll down, it gives us a link that takes us to the Desmos assignment. And when we click on that link, it takes us to a page that looks like this. Now you may need to log in. So if you need to, go ahead and follow the directions on how to log in. And then we're going to go ahead and click start the activity. Here we have our learning goals and success criteria again. We're going to go ahead and click next. And for this one, the first slide says plot the point 0, 3, and 4, 5 on the graph. So the way I do that is this. I'm going to go here to the left side, and I'm going to put that in just like it is. So I'm going to put parentheses 0, 3, parentheses. And there we have our point. If we want to label it, we can. And see, hey, it is 0, 3. And then we're going to do it again. So 4, 5. We can label that as well. Now we have our two points drawn. So this is how you can plot points on the coordinate plane. Now we'll go ahead and click Next. And now it says graph a function. So we're just going to copy that in. So y equals x. Now we can draw functions on Desmos. Next one, we want to do a, um, an inequality. So we're going to say y is greater than x. And again, it drew everything for us. And we can keep doing this. So it says y equals x squared. So now we're going to put y equals x squared in the graph. And, we can do, and we're going to do this for all of them. So for each of the points on here, each of the slides, you're going to answer the different uh, tasks that are given to you. So some of them says sketch a smiley face. So I'm just going to draw a smiley face. So there's my eyes. There's my smiley face. So I can do any of these things on any of them. So whatever it tells me to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do that activity. Once you're done with this, you'll go back to your Google form and click next. And this will send you to your before you go. You'll fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom. 